Uh, well, my name's Malky Duff. I'm a cartoonist from Edinburgh, and I've been making comics uh, for about 20 years now. Um, a lot of self-published work, um, short stories. Yeah, so comic books is kind of my main thing that I do. I've made a, a comic book called The Pineapple, um, along with a space called The Pineapple Reading Area, and also a installation piece which is called uh, The Empty Car Part 2. And really the idea uh, behind the space is to have people sit down and, and read the comic um, and they'll be sitting on, a, I've designed plastic buckets. Um, this goes into a story about uh, when I was a kid, I asked my mum to buy me a bucket because I really liked her willy. Um, and I obviously wanted to be like her willy and, uh, and she bought me a plastic bucket instead of a metal pail. I just kept it in my bedroom. Um, so again, a lot of the, you know, your willy uh, sits in his bucket and looks at the world. And so I think I was sitting looking at my bedroom. So um, hence the plastic buckets. Really, the, I, I keep saying this comic book osmosis thing happened, I think, with um, with your willy and the Bruins. It's kind of work that I always remember being around, but it almost, uh, you know, it's part of the scenery or it's, you know, it's part of something that you're given at Christmas or, and I think that was really my first relation to it. My only other relation, I suppose, was when myself and my brother started reading comics and um, we both wanted to get a weekly comic and he chose the Beano, so I chose the Dandy. It was kind of that sort of thing. Um, but aside from that, um, it's, it is a lot of, I guess, more childhood memories. Uh, and again, this kind of experience of something which must have affected me in some way, but I, I've never really articulated that in a comic book influence. To me, when I make a comic book, I always want it to have a life afterwards, because if it doesn't have that life afterwards, I, I don't really see much point to that. So I like people to interpret my work in their own way, and to me that's another part of a creative process, so people are actually creating work in their own heads. And I think with this piece of work, I find it interesting working from a subject matter which I've not always liked and I've not always um, connected with, but I've, I've sort of tried to just appreciate a difference in it or differences. And with that, um, I hope there's been an equally a creative process there. So something that is, I've managed to, to work from um, has made this new piece of work. Um, so I hope that, you know, people will, um, yeah, just, I, I, I guess they just hope they get something from the comic and maybe it leads on to something else from there.